Hi everyone. Okay, I'm back with some um, practice questions for the license exam. Uh, I was going through my study material and I found some questions from this book that I studied from. Let me see if I can find the name of the book. I'm sorry for the um, smoke detector. You know, they're going to come fix it one day, I guess. They may or may not. I don't know. But anyway, so there was this book that one of my friends gave me, um, and it had practice questions in the back of it. I don't remember the name of the book. I don't have the book, but I made copies of the stuff that was in the book. So I have like 150 practice questions. So I'm going to give you 10, and I'll make a second part to this video with the answers. So the first, this video will be the 10 questions so that you can listen to them, write down your answer without me giving you the answer right after the question. So I have 10 questions. I'll read them. They're multiple choice. You mark your answers. And then, you know, if you need to go back and listen to them again, you can. Um, and then whenever you're ready, you can click on part two which will be the answers and an explanation of why those answers are the correct answers. Okay, so if you're ready, the first question, and I'm on call, y'all. I do work for a police department. I'm a victim advocate, and I am on call. Um, so if the phone rings, I'm going to have to answer it and get out of here and go to the crime scene, but hopefully that won't happen. So anyway, okay. Question number one, a three-year-old child who has been potty trained since he was 18 months old begins wetting his pants on a regular basis. This started right around the time his sister was born. The child is most likely utilizing which defense mechanism? A, denial, B, repression, C, regression, D, displacement. Question number two. A client presents appearing extremely depressed and stating that she regularly feels hopeless and has thoughts about dying. The first thing that the social worker should do is A, perform a suicide assessment, B, Assess the client for a major depressive disorder. C. Refer the client to her physician or admit her to a hospital. D. Begin treatment immediately and continue to assess the client throughout the course of treatment. Question number four. A social worker observes a mother punishing her toddler for throwing a temper tantrum in a department store by punching and slapping the toddler. The social worker should A, ignore it, B, approach the mother and encourage her to seek treatment, C, report the incident to the authorities, D, talk to the toddler and encourage her to tell her father. That was question number three, okay? Question number four, a client presents stating that her mother died a few weeks ago and since that time she has lost a significant amount of weight and cannot sleep at night. The client also states that she has been feeling dizzy and has been experiencing heart palpitations. The social worker should first perform a thorough assessment and diagnose the client is A. B, explore the client's feelings about her mother's death. C, obtain consent, informed consent from the client. Or D, refer the client to her physician. That was question number four. Question number five. A couple has been seeing a social worker who specializes in couples counseling for the past eight months, during which time the wife dies in a car accident. The social worker should A, 
begin tr begin termination with the husband b terminate with the husband and refer him to a bereavement group c refer the husband to a therapist who specializes in bereavement counseling or d continue therapy with the husband question number six during therapy sessions, a client confides in you and tells you that he sexually abuses his daughter. The social worker should first, A, explore the client's feelings about his actions, B, notify his wife, C, report this to the authorities, D, have the child removed from the home. That's question number six. Question number seven, during a therapy session, a woman tells her social worker that she resents her child is, and is going to kill her. The social worker's first intervention should be A, have the child removed from the home, B, explore the client's feelings about her child, C, tell the child, or D, refer the woman to her psychiatrist. That's question number seven. Question number eight, the woman calls her husband's social worker for an update on his condition. The woman has met the social worker several times as she often goes with her husband to the social worker's office. The social worker should A, tell the wife that he is progressing and say no more. B, tell the wife that you cannot discuss her husband's treatment with her because of client confidentiality. C, ask the wife to set up an appointment. Or D, suggest that the wife attend marital counseling with her husband to improve their communication skills. Okay, that was question number eight. Question number nine, a woman calls a social worker at a suicide hotline. The woman tells the social worker that she is thinking about killing herself. Which of the following should the social worker do first? A, call the police. B, assess the client's situation. C, set up an appointment with the client to come, see, to come in to see a social worker. Or D, find out the name of the in case of emergency contact. That's number nine. And finally, number 10. What did I do with it? An infant has been in the hospital for six days. Aside from the first day, the parents of the child have not visited. The social worker should first A. Arrange for foster care. B. Contact the infant's grandparents. C. Contact the parents. Or D, arrange for a hospital volunteer to visit with the baby. That's question number 10. Okay, so if you need to rewind and go back and listen again, answer all the questions, and then the answers with an explanation will be on part two, um, which is another video that I'm about to upload as well. Um, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about specifically, or if you would like for me to do any more of these, because like I said, I have 150 questions, then leave a comment in the comment box or like the video. And then if I get enough likes or whatever, then I will do more. So hopefully this is helpful for you all. Um, go ahead and click on the next video for the answers and explanation. Good luck with your studying and I hope you pass the test.